Everyman Driver Nation, Dave Erickson here, and my first look impressions of this 2015 Infiniti QX80. This is a beast. So under the hood of this monster is a 5.6 liter V8 engine made it to a seven speed automatic transmission. And there is some major power here under the hood. 400 horses, 413 pound feet of torque. And you need that because this has a towing capacity of 8,500 pounds. And right here, my friends, 20 inch rims. Yeah, dog. Good stuff here on the key fob with an engine start button here on the very top. Lock, unlock, and hold for the trunk. We'll get to some of those in a moment, but first, vehicle is locked. So, put my hand in the handle. No, no, doesn't work. Press the button, now it unlocks. Okay, ooh, opens nice and wide. All right, let's start this baby up. Wow, this is a luxury vehicle and then some. Seat slides forward automatically. We'll put it back. And here's our HDD navigation system. Turn the volume down. Boy, this is nice, huh? Take a look at this. This center stack infotainment system has everything you could possibly ask for, plus an analog clock. Yes, sir. Take a look at this infotainment screen here. Yes, it is a touch screen. Move things around. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Here's our map. Looks like we move our dial. That's good. Camera. Ooh. There's a round view of the vehicle and backup camera. Info takes us through fuel economy, tire pressure, weather information, like that. Status, what's status? Oh, looking at uh, the XM radio, settings, navigation, Bluetooth, of course, you gotta have Bluetooth, right? Down here for the radio dials, FM, AM, XM radio, the usual suspects there. Climate controls, rear, da, 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 da. Oh, dual climate control, so passenger has access to their own spot, and driver has stuff right there, and down even further, looks like you got uh, heated seats for both sides, and a heated steering wheel. different driving modes. We've got the auto, four wheel high, push down for four low. Look at that, snow drive, traction control on, tow mode, there you go. This little piggy went to the market. And there, right, my friends, you have a, a shifter into drive, slide forward, shift up or down. Not too bad, seven speed automatic transmission. Let's go back into park. Quick evaluation here of the instrument cluster. Kind of a, a small center display. Colors are black and white, okay. Other than that, you've got uh, four main dials there. Five, I suppose, if you count those two over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Six plus the center, so let's call that seven. Here on the steering wheel, you've got some controls here. Looks like this might be an adaptive cruise control option. Not sure what this is. Cruise control, setting your cruise control distance here. Bluetooth technology, audio, source. This sources up the navigation screen when I hit that, so I can navigate through there on the steering wheel. Naturally, the QX80 has a sliding sunroof there, and of course, you can slide it back. Nice. Let's close it up one more time. Spot for sunglasses. This is a spacious vehicle, and it's just large. We've got three rows of seating. Let's take a look at the uh, the middle row, see how we fit. Here we go, nice little step up. An old blank handle here on the side. <laughs> wow, holy wow, look at that. Plenty of room, this is a, a great seat. This is, oh my gosh. Can I get some? Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Look at that leg room, and I am, I'm seated back here. This is extremely comfortable. So definitely only two spots here for passengers. 
because you have this center armrest, which is massive. Open it up, cup holders, giant space here for other things. Down here in the middle, you've got some climate controls for passengers back here and spot behind the driver's seat and passenger seat for storage, speakers, naturally, lots of old blank candles. Normally I'm suspect of three row passenger SUVs because usually that third row is just an afterthought and more or less something you fold down to make real, more room for cargo. But back here, I think this is a very usable third row. I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. So to gain access back here, it looks like there's a handle above this. Oh, look at that. Oh, it just folded up. I love these first impressions because I had no idea that was happening. All right, let's go inside. So here's how I would sit. Let's see how it changes once I bring that seat back to its original position. Well, it's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, look at this. Spot right here. Oh, that's my seat. That adjusts my seat, look at this. You see how that does? I'm able to slide my seat frontward and backward. Cool. Even though this doesn't give me a lot of leg room for a guy my size who's 5'11", it's better than I thought and still very spacious back here. They say this is a seven passenger uh, SUV, but I give it six to be somewhat comfortable for regular size adults. And even with my current seating position, there is a little bit of room back here for storage if you wanna put some skinny pieces of luggage, but I think we can fold these down and make tons of room. So let's go ahead and do that next. Now there was a button just left of the steering wheel to open up this trunk lid, but I'll go ahead and use the key fob, hold it down, and it'll open up for us. QX80. There we go. There's a button here to close it when we're done. Now we're looking at, uh, oh, I like this. Good job, Infinity. I'm gonna close these down. Oh, you gotta hold it? You gotta hold it. Okay, I'd wanna have to just press one button, but looks like you just hold it. That's gonna take a while. The same buttons, just different side. Okay, so there's your uh, overall space now that those seats are down. That creates a ton more room. Well, that about wraps it up. The MSRP here on this 2015 Infiniti QX80 all-wheel drive is around $66,000. This vehicle does have some extras on it, so it's around 70. We'll have much more on everymandriver.com, engine specs, miles per gallon, and so much more. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching.